Hello, everyone. It's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely beautiful and one of the best 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z28s with a Rally Sport package. This vehicle has been certified by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish. You've got to check this one out. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, the first thing I'd like to say is I apologize for the gash on my forehead. I got in the fight with some landscaping over the weekend, uh, so I wanted to get that out of the way and clear. Uh, but if you have or have not been following uh, MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. I've been doing that since inception. I'm very proud to say that we're the only classic car dealership in the country that services every vehicle we sell and we document that work with an invoice. When those vehicles are done being serviced, we detail them to the highest level possible and present them as we are here today. Please check out our website at msclassiccars.com for a full description with tons of highly detailed photos. We spend a lot of time and effort into all of our listings, so please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. Before I get uh, into the presentation of this particular vehicle, I would like to make note uh, if you have obviously been following, you already know this, but if you haven't, I'm going to mention it. Uh, MS Classic Cars specializes in first-generation Camaros. I'm proud to say that I've owned some of the best factory-correct and custom Camaros in the world over the years. Uh, you can see these vehicles on our website sold page. So when I say something about uh, a car, especially a first-generation Camaro, you can take it to the bank. This particular vehicle that I'm sitting in today is truly one of the best and you've got to learn about it. So let's roll into the presentation here. I'm gonna read uh, this information. I'm gonna kind of stop in between and just reference uh, some items here. Uh, I've written this entire uh, description here that can be found on our website, talking a little bit about the history, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, some of the information that makes this vehicle so special. Uh, so this magnificent 1968 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Rally Sport is a great example with an impressive pedigree. So let's first talk about the 68 Camaros. Um, according to all the information that GM has provided and with Jerry McNeish and so forth, a total of 7,199 uh, Z28s were produced in 1968. That's a very, very low number. From the information that I have gathered uh, online, Roughly 20% of those 7,199 had the Rally Sport package. People will clearly know a Rally Sport by the hideaway headlights. This is one of those vehicles. So this is a very rare vehicle. It also has a very rare color. Uh, it's Rally Green with white stripes and it has an ivory houndstooth interior. Uh, from what I've gathered, only one or 2% of all the vehicles made had this color combination, which makes it very special. So let's get into the details. As I said earlier, it's been certified 
as authentic by Camaro expert Jerry McNeish of Camaro High Performance. In this binder here that I create for every vehicle, I literally have hours invested in this particular binder. New uh, here, we purchase all these new, brand new plastic sleeves and I put everything in methodical order. This car has hundreds of things that I've organized, but first and foremost is the Jerry McNeish report. Jerry is a friend of mine. He's helped me over the years with many cars. Definitely been a part of our first generation Camaro success. He also does Chevelles and he also does Novas as well. Uh, so once again, I'm very proud uh, to be part of what he's doing. Uh, he's a great leader in the industry uh, for authenticating these magnificent cars. Unfortunately, these cars are easily uh, cloned. Uh, people make uh, fake trim, trim tags, they stamp engine blocks. It's kind of a real shady deal, so you just have to be very, very careful when you're buying one of these cars, as you do with a lot of the factory correct muscle cars from this generation. So, uh, I'd like to give a shout out here to Roger Schoen. Uh, he is from Texas, super nice guy, he's a friend. I actually purchased a 69 Camaro uh, that was a legend. Uh, the legend is a vehicle that has uh, been awarded uh, one of the top awards from the Camaro Nationals. Uh, I believe only about 29, 69 Camaros have ever achieved the Legend Award. He sold me uh, a car back a few years ago, uh, so we've done some good business. He's also sold a friend of mine, another car that was a legend. Um, and I have to say that uh, he told me about 40 years ago that he had found this amazing car that I'm sitting in here today. It was kind of a, a, a survivor, if you will and it had low ownership history, it had great pedigree. He purchased it, he was gonna do a full-blown restoration, take it to the highest level, and that's exactly what he did. When he finished the car, he called me before he really promoted the car anywhere. I immediately jumped on uh, the purchase, and here we are today. Um, so, Roger was the last owner uh, who purchased this vehicle from the previous owner of 44 years. And as I just stated, he spent four years restoring this car to factory specifications. This is the first time it's ever been offered since completion of the restoration. A binder of the receipts and photos of the restoration are included. You can see all of this information uh, on our website listing. I put tons and tons of photos. Roger also made copies of a lot of those restoration photos which are in this binder here. It just is very, very detailed information uh, that's very important uh, when you're getting a classic car uh, that you have all that information to reference. Um, Jerry McNeish stated in his report, this Z28 will make an excellent entry into the Legends certification class at the Camaro Nationals. He's referencing what I just spoke about a few minutes ago regarding uh, the 69 Legend. Um, so on Jerry's report, he did make uh, notes as he does with all of his reports of the uh, component issues that vehicles have. When I say component issues, it could be something as simple as uh, a bolt that's not correct or an incorrect uh, booster or master cylinder. It could be hinges, it could be this, it could be that. All minor stuff that can be changed with time. Um, so what Roger did is he took Jerry's list, I would probably say that 75% of the items that were on his list, he corrected, uh, again, to make this vehicle as correct as possible. So please keep all that in mind. Um, as the NCRS shipping data report documents, the GM production date of this car was April 27th, 1968. The car was ordered with a rally green and white stripes exterior, ivory houndstooth deluxe interior, and the following options. These are in code option order. Uh, so the first one would be the tinted glass. Uh, second would be the air spoiler equipment. Third would be the posi traction rear axle with 410 ratio. Uh, we have power disc brakes. We have a four speed transmission, AM radio. We have power steering. Of course, the rally sport equipment, the Z28 equipment, and again, the deluxe interior. So that's kind of what the vehicle had when it was new. Uh, from the information gathered, as I said earlier, less than 20% of Z28 production was equipped with the RS package in the model year 1968, which makes this vehicle very rare. From the information gathered, um, a limited amount of those were painted rally green, and a very limited amount had the ivory houndstooth deluxe interior. So on that note, before I get into the next 
sentence here, I just want to show you a couple of quick things. So again, this is the McNeese report. And then what we have next in line, oh, by the way, this is his certificate of authenticity that Jerry provides when he does his certification. This is the NCRS shipping data report. This is great information because what it does is it verifies uh, the production date, where the vehicle was delivered to and so forth. Again, it's sealed. That is included. The envelope that Roger had gotten from the NCRS is also included. What Roger did here is he did a breakdown of the trim tag. This is the original trim tag, which in 1968 really gave a lot of information. Uh, I made a copy of this. I put it in the photo gallery so you can reference that. And then what Roger did is he documented the full ownership history of this vehicle. Uh, he did a great job with that, played investigator. And then there's more information, which I'm gonna kind of flow into now regarding some of that. So the car retains uh, its original Chevrolet owner's protection plan documents better known as the protector plate, which provides important information about the vehicle, including the build date and options, which is rare to find this model year Camaro. Roger also uh, did a great job breaking down that as well. I'm just gonna show you here, this is the owner's manuals and so forth. This is actually the protector plate that I'm referencing. It's actually right here. Again, you can see this in our photo gallery. To find a 68 Camaro Z28 with the original protector plate is extremely rare. This again has been verified as authentic and original by Jerry McNeish. Again, a lot of people make these fake as well, but you can see the protector plate. You can see where the vehicle was delivered and who it was delivered to. Again, this is great information. Um, so as we get back into this, uh, it was um, documented this car was sold new by Shellebarger Chevrolet located in Casper, Wyoming. It was purchased by Robert Anderson, who lived in Casper, Wyoming on May 11th, 1968. Robert sold the car to Phyllis Anderson, who also lived in Casper, Wyoming in the early 1970s. Phyllis purchased the car for her son, Mike Worgen, and during her time of ownership, she had a replacement protector plate issued for warranty purposes. This is the first time I've ever seen this before, um, where one owner, because the vehicle was still under warranty, went back to the dealership and actually got a replacement protector plate. So we actually have two original and again, these are certified by Jerry McNeish as authentic protector plates. This is the original that was come with the car, and this is the one that was replaced. Again, it's all here. Very, very rare to find a 68 Camaro with a protector plate, let alone two protector plates. Again, great information here. So um, we also have a copy of a title transfer from Phyllis Anderson to Mike Werner that are both included. Um, so again, I just want to kind of reference these quick and show you, um, as I just said, and this again, this is all in our photo gallery here, but this is just information that's so valuable and so important. Um, this is the ownership history, as I just mentioned, again, Robert Adamson to Phyllis Anderson to Mike Worgen. You can see it here. Also, this is the copy of that title that I just referenced. Again, it shows exactly when the vehicle was sold to Mike. Again, everything is documented. This is actually the envelope in which that title came in, which is included. And then you got some miscellaneous things here. Uh, Roger went online and actually found some original ads by the selling Chevrolet dealer, which are included, pictured within our photo gallery. And then we got a bunch of more stuff here in this uh, binder. So the car spent the next 44 years with Mike until it was purchased by Roger in December of 2017. The car was in very good condition at the time of purchase, which is documented with all the photos that are included. We do have a photo of this car when it was purchased, um, so you can clearly see what it looks like. There's tons of photos. Uh, you can see the interior, the engine compartment. You can see the complete breakdown of the vehicle. Roger even had a photo uh, of the car way back when, uh, which is also really cool. So we have so much documentation. Uh, the body retains most of its original sheet metal and is laser straight. It was refinished in its original rally green with the white stripes and the paintwork is simply exceptional. This is a number one condition car. It is absolutely beautiful. 
Again, something you truly need to see in person. All of the glass was replaced new and stamped with the date codes from the original glass date stamps that Roger had had on the car. It sits on its original DF coated 15 by six rally wheels. The rally wheels are wrapped with the correct Goodyear wide tread GT E70 15 bias ply tires. Uh, the fresh interior complements the exterior perfectly. The engine compartment is highly detailed with many correct and date coded parts. The car is powered by its original matching numbers 302 V8 that was completely rebuilt by CNC Motorsports and runs excellent. On the note of the engine, in my receipts here, I have a ton of receipts that Roger provided, but most importantly, I put them here in the beginning that shows the dyno sheets. He sent this to a company who did a great job. We referenced all this engine stuff that they had done to this vehicle, which was very detailed. You don't always get this when you buy these cars. Just so much information here on this motor. Uh, again, I tip my hat to CNC Motorsports for doing such a great job. Uh, this engine actually dynoed here. Uh, it looks like it was 363 horsepower at 6,300 RPM. Uh, so once again, outstanding dyno results and outstanding job uh, by CNC Motorsports on this particular engine. Um, the engine is fed through the original intake, which was restored by Jerry McNeish, and it has its original Holley carburetor. It also has um, its original equipped uh, starter, distributor, alternator, voltage regulator, and radiator. Again, I referenced all this on the Jerry McNeese report. The engine breathes through the factory manifolds and the concourse Gardner dual exhaust system. This has got a very, very accurate and very correct exhaust, a very expensive. Uh, Gardner has a huge waiting list, so that is definitely a big positive. The engine is coupled to a correct Muncie M21 four-speed manual transmission and 12-bolt posi rear end with the 410 gears. The undercarriage is mirror quality with its original floors that were restored to new condition. Everything on this car has been gone through, the steering, the brakes, the suspension, etc. This is a mirror quality car underneath. It is spectacular. Again, MS Classic Cars is super proud to own this vehicle. Uh, and before I wrap up this, I just wanna reference one last thing here in this binder, which again, I put in the photo gallery if you wanna check it out. But what Roger did here, which was really helpful, I complimented him for this, is he made a reference here of all the numbers for everything. So we got engine block, exhaust manifolds, differentials, starters, alternators, uh, master cylinders, carburetors, water pump, horns, clutch fan. I mean, it just goes on and on. And then I took some information off the 68 Camaro Z28 um, National Registry, uh, which has not been updated recently, but there's some great information in there. And again, I made photos of all of the information that's included. Uh, there's email correspondence between Roger and some of the owners here and so forth, just getting as much information as possible. And there's that original picture I told you that Roger has of the car from way back when. But again, this is an exceptional car, super proud to offer it. Um, before I go ahead and start the car, I'll use this time to mention, if you have not signed up for the MS Classic Cars VIP email blast, please do so. That is the best way to follow what we're doing here at the dealership. Um, also, if you have not signed up and followed us on social media, we're on all the social media platforms, so please do that as well. MS Classic Cars is not a huge company, uh, but we are really doing big things, so please do your homework on us. We appreciate you watching this video. Now, Z28s, uh, typically, you know, high compression engines like this particular car, it's, you know, dynoed at 363 horsepower. Sometimes they can be a little cold-blooded, hard to start. This car runs so good, I figure what we would do is a cold start. We have not started this vehicle in probably four days or so. It sat in the showroom, which is set at 50 degrees over the weekend. Uh, right now, it's probably 65 degrees in here. Um, I have not start it again. It's ice cold. Just want to go ahead and pump the gas pedal a few times, turn it over, and let you listen how beautiful she runs. We appreciate you watching, and as always, rock and roll. You can't make that up. High idle. It's purring like a kitten. Again, thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated.